Cervero. I'm Martina and I have issues. I've been waiting for my PS5 to arrive, which it did after months, but now all I can think about is how normal it looks. And I've been wanting to do things to it, but I keep telling myself, Martina, there's no need. I mean, it looks perfectly fine. And now I'm thinking, might not be such a bad idea after all. And I think I have a plan. Here's the plan. We're gonna turn the PS5 into a dwarven kingdom. And when we're done, it's gonna look like it's made of stone and lava. And oh my God, I think it's gonna look so freaking cool. But I, got, I gotta get out of here. I put too much smoke. <laughs> I haven't figured out exactly the details on how we're doing this yet. But as usual, we just figure it out as we go. All I know is we have to start with a base. Something to work off of. Let's go. This blue stuff is called XPS foam. It's probably one of my favorite materials to work with just because it's easy to carve and it's quite dense. So we're gonna try to take this and transform it into a couple of floors on either side. Here, let's do that. I know it looks like I've done a lot here, but really all I've done is just cut some stairs, cut some holes, glue it together, that's it. And the things I'm gonna do next is just, you can see here, there are just some big holes. I'm gonna create some spacers in here and then try to cover up some of the cracks that you can see, well, everywhere. <laughs> And now let's fill all of these little gaps here with some sculptor mold. Oh yes, that looks so much better. No more gaps. Uh -huh. I think this is starting to look pretty decent. I like the shape of it, but I still want to add some things here. I want to add some pillars in the middle and some details along the stairs here. I have used Photoshop to create the patterns for the pillars as well as some decorative borders that I can place around. Let's get some beams, some details and stuff them on there. Let's try with these ones first. Go. He's going so fast, he's shaking. <laughs> Poor William, working so hard. <laughs> oh my god, let me just get this out. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Uh, yeah, let me just quickly assemble this pillar. There we go. Look at that. Pretty cool. I still had to cut the angles here because you know, the laser can't do this. And now we can put these right there. Oh, oh it's the perfect fit. Oh. I have to make a couple more of these. And of course, a couple more of these decoration beams that I'm basically just gonna put around here somewhere and then just glue it on. Detail time.
in place and it's looking pretty nice, which means we can finally start adding on the Mod Podge that is gonna bind them all together and also pop off these side panels so we can paint them. They can't be white. It looks so much better in black. My god. I added one more layer of Mod Podge to the foam, so I just stuffed that away so we can dry. And now we can finally start working on the challenging part of this build, which is making all the lava. We essentially need two different types of lava here. We need something that stands still or kind of just like stays like this, you know, floating. And then we also need a lava waterfall. Can you call it waterfall when it's a lava? A lava fall? Since we have the USB ports and the buttons on the front here, I don't just want to cover all of this up, so I'm going to try to create a lava fall that kind of runs along here, splits, and then goes along the sides all the way down. What I'm going to try to do is use this stuff. It's called epoxy filler. It's kind of a goopy epoxy thing that is awful, but also nice because it's thick. So I'm gonna try to put it here, let it just run the way it would naturally run because it's thick like lava. We can use that as a blank that we can cast in silicone, then we can cast it in resin. That's a very complicated process. First, a little bit of foam support. Like that. And now a buttload of packaging tape. I hope this will hold up, because if there's any holes in here, then I'll, I'm gonna have epoxy filler all inside the PlayStation, which you don't want, obviously. <laughs> Goop part number one. Kind of looks like frozen yogurt. <laughs> don't eat it, Martino. Oh, this is much thicker. Got it all mixed up now. Hopefully it's good enough. So I'm gonna start at the top here and then let it just run down as it would naturally. And hopefully we have no problems. My heart rate is increasing by a lot. Run, my friend. This is going very slow, very anticlimactic. Maybe if I just push it over the edge a bit. There we go. Oh, there you go. Oh, we need some more. Come on, go lava, go! Anything happening at all? Okay, give it a little jiggle. Oh, there you go. Oh. Ew. I thought this would go very fast. <laughs> It looks better now. At least it covers all the area I wanted it to. It still looks kind of funky. I have no idea how this will actually turn out because I've never used this technique before. I'm just gonna leave this overnight, let it dry, and we'll see what happens. Hopefully it's nice. It's morning. The goop has at least successfully dried, so we can try to peel all of this off. I am really, really hoping there are no holes, no problems, and it will just like release itself without me having to do any hard work. <laughs> That's some high expectations there, Martina. Um. <laughs> it worked! <laughs> and it didn't crack. Cleaned it up a bit, so let's see. If we can still access the buttons. It's like there. Nice. Oh, I don't know if you can see it, but yes, we can still access everything. So far, the blank is looking really, really nice. And that means we can move on to making a silicone mold. Hopefully it works. I made it into this L shape just so we can save as much silicone as possible. So now we can take this and I have to try to suspend it in here. This, maybe? There we go. Everything's nice and suspended. Just look from here, not touching. Uh, we have this big bucket of casting silicone called Ass 40. <laughs> it looks like honey, but without the gold. Let's add the catalyst. It's very viscous. Oh my God. Now let's add a little bit of color. That is very dark. 
I have to vacuum this because you can see I've mixed in a lot of bubbles here. So I'm just gonna transfer it into this one because it's much larger container than this. The so big container in the chamber, near the lids, put on there. And now vacuum time. Release. And now we pour. That's the first half of the silicone mold all poured, but now everything stays in place and I'm just hoping it turns out nice. We gotta leave it for 24 hours before we can pour the second layer. After that, we can see if this actually works. Now I just gotta do all of that again, but without the color. And I'm also adding some baby powder just so I can separate the two parts. But now, before we move on, it's time for an ad for MiloNote. MiloNote is a tool for organizing your creative projects. It's basically like a wall where you can stick your sketches, references, notes, diagrams, images, ideas, anything, and organize your projects in a visual way. Personally, I like to use MiloNote for mood boards. So for example, when we made the castle a while ago, I created this mood board to get my inspiration going. And we also use it to plan our upcoming projects and schedule in a more visual way. I mean, just look at that nice timeline. It's super easy to use as well. You can just either choose a template or a blank canvas to start with. So for example, to plan this project, I used a blank canvas and just started writing down notes about the project, added arrows between my notes, daily to-dos, reference images, and all the other things I need to keep an overview of the project. So if you think this sounds interesting, Milo Note is free to use with no time limit. So make sure to sign up with the link below and try it out for yourself. And the project. <gasps> <laughs> Success! <laughs> the mold is now ready for the epoxy casting. Just gotta mix up some resin and then we do the first pour. The first part of the epoxy pour is now almost cured and I've added the second part of the mold on top so now we can finally do the second pour. So now it's finally time to deal with the LEDs. So uh, Hansi, can you come around, please? Hello! Hey guys! Hey! LED <laughs> time. Did I hear LEDs? Yes. I'm ready to do some LEDs because oh. we have an Arduino mm -hmm. and the Arduino is going to control all the LEDs. And this is an L addressable LED strip. So with some coating, we can make this look like lava. And yeah, you already made like a cavity here so you can yeah. put the Arduino in. And the USB power here will actually power off and on based on if the PlayStation is off or on. Nice. So it's all gonna be like magic. But I have to go and do some coating. Uh, I have no idea how to do that, so. Uh, you can do you. all the soldering then. Uh, I hate soldering. Solder time. It's now been all day, but finally we are done with the soldering. Everything is just placed where they're supposed to be, which means we can finally move on to assembling and doing the painting. Let's go!
feels so good to finally have set it up here and it's complete. <gasps> Let's try to turn this on and see what it looks like for the first time. And hopefully everything just works, <laughs> please. Does it not work like the Xbox, like you can turn it on with the controller? Oh, I have to connect the controller first. There. Oh! <laughs> uh. <laughs> Mixed feeling, stop, okay. Oh. <laughs> it works. <laughs> the lava fall, dude. Oh, the LEDs look so good. <laughs> oh. <laughs> With the USB cable and press the PS Okay then. I guess we'll be right back. Everything is now set up, but I had to download the game, which is gonna take a while. I think this build has been such a fun project, and it's been really challenging to do the whole epoxy casting thing. And you know, I'm pretty happy with just having been able to do that complicated cast, it feels like a skill unlocked, you know? I just want to thank you so much for watching and joining me on this journey. And of course, a huge, huge thank you to our patrons for continuing to support us and letting us do this kind of stuff. And you know, I kind of want to keep doing it. So uh, let me know what you would like me to customize next. And that means it is time. Let's have a look at the final result.